Now, I'm told that Slipknot's newest album, Five, The Great Chapter, is its first in six years, the delay caused by the ultimate, the untimely passing of the longtime bassist, uh, Paul Gray. What did he die of? He died of uh, a mixture of uh, different, uh, like, prescription chemicals, yeah. I mean, he'd, he'd fought addiction for a very long time, and uh, unfortunately, it, yeah. Do you dedicate the album to him? Yeah, yeah. How did his death affect the group? It was very dark. It was very, very heavy. Um, the day we found out, we were all sitting in my house, and the only thing I can describe it is like this, this dense numbness that kind of descended on us. And How old was he? He was, oh man, he, he wasn't even 40. Is, we associate heavy metal with drugs, is that fair? You know, I, it depends on the band, really, you know, because I, I know a lot of uh, a lot of bands who, you know, they, they go very straight edge, which means they don't touch anything. So I, th I think it's easier for people to perceive hard rock and heavy metal as being very drug addled. But if you look these days, a lot more of the pop bands and the hip hop bands try to purport that kind of lifestyle. Uh, this album, what do you think? Uh, you think Paul would have liked it? I think he would have loved it. Yeah, yeah. We. Uh, I mean, it's, it's essentially the story of the last four years, um, dealing with the aftermath of his, his death and all of us trying to kind of get back to a place where we wanted to make music again. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.